then I rolled a three. That took a while. We're back, guys. I'm being attacked by a cat. You can see her back here. She's trying to hide. <laughs> As always, directly behind me. Well, if, there you go. Now she's perfect. Oh, you got to look back at the screen when the hat hides her. Yeah. Now you're good. No cats here. What are you talking about? <laughs> so she pounces on your head. I'm just waiting for it. Uh, so I was talking to David, and we were. I was thinking I needed a new bond with a Gug and with Smith. And I was thinking for Smith, uh, we came up with, since he's got to worship Iomide as part of his uh, saving Eridos, that I would uh, attempt to aid him in his learnings of Iomide, since I am now a cleric, and you would think I would have some knowledge of religion, so like, you know, maybe he and I will do some research together, perhaps with Koya or some other available resources. Does that sound reasonable? Hello, Duraga. It's yeah. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Did you just lick my hand? So cute sometimes. <laughs> and then she bites you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she actually hasn't bit me in a little while. That's nice. Just likes, you know, getting heavy and then jumping on top of me at night. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You don't yeah, do that. All of that. She used to put her head inside my mouth when I would do that. <laughs> oh. It was so wow. weird. I was like, yeah, I have bad breath. This will scare the cat away. And she'd stick her head in there like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, thanks to everybody who followed during the break. Thanks to everybody who unfollowed during the break. <laughs> So we'll oh. come out about even. That was Ooh, weird. Dagger. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I'm sure they were just haters. You know, they're going to hate. What's they the plan just... here? I heard some discussion about switching up of bonds, trying to min-max your role-playing EXP. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we fill in everybody? Because I never know when you guys switch bonds. You never send me like a mail like, this is my new bond. You're just like, here's my announcement. I'm going to get EXP for this bond. This is what it is. And I'm like, I never heard this one before. Why don't you tell us what your guys' bonds are? Yes, the folks who keep following, thank you for continuing to follow. <laughs> and, of course, watching live, you're the best ever at wrestling. I'll go first. I had a bond that I stated last week um, where Eridos... Uh, I previously had Eridos as not an ally of the natural world, and through a lack of effort and general poor roleplay, was unable to make any progress on that. So I changed it to Eridos, and I need to work together more effectively. And to that end, I am counseling him how it is much more effective for him to stay near me rather than on the other side of combat. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear this go. I want to hear it go down. So, All right. Well, I think we, did, we did before the we, break. No, yeah, we just, you can't. Oh, was it? It was yeah, on yeah. camera, though, right? Yeah. No, that, okay. Yeah. It was yeah. On camera. That's All that's right. why I that's why I took him aside and told him to stop running to the See, other but side. But I'd never heard that. This is a this is a great example. A I I, I said that last week. I remember. Oh, okay. I, he I, did. I announced it I last week. I don't remember. The only bonds I remember are the ones in email because then I have a written copy and I put it on my bond list. I did state last week that I was going to drop my bonds with a Guggen Smith and yes. make new ones. I remember and so I, that part. All right, so I just came up with a new one for Smith, and I'm still short one for Gug. Yeah. But for Smith, since I was unable to tell his story of his valiant sacrifice or selfless sacrifice, I am instead going to attempt him, um, attempt to help him as he learns more about Iomide, to to continue to just sort of help him in that selfless act. So I, I'm hoping that through some research or perhaps r resources that Koya has, I'll be able to help him learn more about Iomade. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the Gug. I'm, I'm hopeless at this. Nobody knows what they're going to do with the Gug. No, I think it's the other way around. Everyone knows what they're going to do with <laughs> the Gug. kicks butt on mine. But... <laughs> so what is a Gug no going to do? What are your bonds, a Gug? 
Uh, actually, I changed one last week, and I apparently didn't write it down. I don't know what it was. I have nothing with Erdos. Smith, it says, uh, Smith may know something after all. I may be able to learn something from him. And um, I am owed something by Duraga, whether he wants it or not. And I haven't. that's my first one with him, and I've never even touched it. That's super easy. You could just so, establish that in backstory. Like right now, have a discussion. Like, Draga, remember so, that time we were at the bar and. You barred uh, a silver to buy supper for your cat? Totally wouldn't do that. <laughs> you, you did. Absolutely. No, That's why no, we're arguing about it. You did. We, we druids are very honorable. I would remember that. <laughs> I had only had 15 or 20 pints at the, at the most. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no excuse. And I was thirteen. We're having the time. a drinking. Just because we're have you know. having a drinking competition with an underage minor. I had been not building mean up, you get out of this. <laughs> I had been building up my tolerance for six months at that point. <laughs> <laughs> All that, a whole six months. Uh, woo. That's right. Oh, God. And I even smoked a cigarette that one time. That's right. <laughs> one of the druids gave it to me. So I stopped hanging around with those guys. I gotta check my. Uh, I gotta check my. Because they were too again. cool for you. So, so <laughs> too cool for you, school. <laughs> you didn't just get it from a druid. Right? <laughs> from a druid who was also a camel shaman who was turned into a camel at the time and had a camel <laughs> cigarette sticking out of his camel mouth <laughs> and another one in his camel animal companion's mouth. <laughs> 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 wow, boy, this went south in a hurry. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to to represent for tonight's show sponsor, Joe <laughs> <laughs> Any complaints about this, you can send to my manager, Brian Williams at <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, I would totally remember that, though. There's no way that's true. It sounds like you're trying to block him from resolving this. I just want to hear a little bit more about it. Okay. I, I'm absolutely sure of it. The cat was being all whiny. You didn't want to leave because we're having a drinking competition. That does and, sound uh, like the cat, actually. You said, <laughs> <laughs> and you said, let me bum a silver piece. I'll feed him, and I'll pay you back. And it never happened. Mm, I mean, well, it's just a silver, but... I'm quite, I'm quite sure that... The thing. That Babu would remember that, and I'll I'll pick up Babu, <laughs> and um, I would attempt I'll attempt to make a sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh and no, not trading sleight of hand, are you? No, no. So you're no. just you're just like fumbling with whatever you're trying to do. And uh, and I draw a silver piece out of Babu's armor and say, "Oh, that sneaky devil ran off with it." <laughs> <laughs> so like everybody watches you like uncomfortably stuff a silver piece by the cat's armor. The cat like turns around and starts biting your hand. She's like, "Wow, wow!" Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Then you magically draw the silver piece out and you drop it in the process. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. I I believe this is what I owed you. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you resolve this super easy bond this one time. But we need better I think that's the, the most fun, that's the be best most fun I had with a bond since we started. This. That took all what, a minute and a half? There you go. There you go. Wow. Money we just that was lame. I even I feel bad about that. <laughs> I will I will spend a few rounds scolding Babu about his bad tactics <laughs> and stealing. Bad Babu. Bad I told Babu. you you shouldn't run off with my coin when I've been drinking. <laughs> oh, all right. Now I still got to come up with two more bonds. Ugh. All right. I'll come up with something by next week. It was a brilliant minute and a half. <laughs> and it was worth every bit of it. All <laughs> one silver piece worth. All right. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan? You guys are battered, bruised, are you covered in ogrekin blood? Yep. Yeah. Ugh. So, I remember hearing Find something out. from over here last session. Singing. Yep. Well, no, there was singing oh. on the balcony. 
And then there was noise when the gong started that was from over here. No longer hear anything coming from that direction. Right, so I'm, am I pretty sure that that was the ogrekin? You can suspect that. Okay. Oh, I Are thought we still sure heard it. Are you pretty sure it was the ogrekin? From coming from where? The east. Yeah, oh, over okay. on this side over here. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Did that the ogrekin have any loot on them? Hmm... Interesting question. Uh, do I detect magic on them and loot them and do all that stuff? Here I thought this would just be a fight that we resolved. OOC or something. But now everyone's like, do I get to take all the stuff off of their bodies? <laughs> I mean, I mean just... from Brooklyn. I'm just, just going to kick them a few times while they're down or something. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me check. See if they have any loot on their bodies. I'm and I'm not sure. Did we loot the other corpses? Because I think we got chased inside pretty hurriedly. Yeah, they didn't oh. have any loot. They were just in. The okay. one guy was like a natural attacker, and the other one was a spider. And all the bat guys didn't have anything either, or bird guys. Yeah, they were attacking with claws. They are wearing nice suits, tailored to fit a medium-sized bird creature. How much would it cost to get a suit tailored for a cat? You want to get a suit for a cat? Could I? Are they medi they're medium sized creatures? Uh, a medium sized cat, yes. Is that a medium cat? Yeah. You, you oh, could get no, he's a, a small cat. Suit. Sure, I guess they have cosplay in Galarian. <laughs> All right, they have a short spear. That is the only thing they have. I'm not even going to write that down. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mess. Okay. Uh, well, we can go after Opera Boy. Or, you know. We could probably just start booing from down here, and they'd hear us and get angry. You don't think the gong and the prolonged minutes long combat? <laughs> not not to tell you how to play your ever. characters or anything, but... Sure, you could try booing. That's certainly an option. Is that what you'd like to do? Your mother was a hamster. Your father, well, he's not the of the berries. I've monopolized the conversation, so you guys can pick our tactic. No, I agree. That's what I was doing. He was insulting his family. I have strength damage. It sucks. Oh, really? Mm. Let's see. I'm a level one cleric. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know who's Sorry a level four? You know who's All a right. level four cleric? Yeah. We we could retreat and try and find Spivy. Well, Spivy is out of spells. We could push on ahead. Those well, we don't. who are keen of eye may have noticed Spivy actually has scrolls of lesser resto. Yeah. yeah. So... Let's yeah. try to find Spivy. Uh, we want to pull out of here? I mean, are we sure that there's... Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and go. Um, we... I don't know. We still think that there's 40 hobgoblins bearing down on our camp and that right. we're supposed to be in a hurry. And if we if we don't finish this and we go back to camp, we're probably not going to come back here. Yeah, I... You know, I we're going to get run out. Yeah, I think as characters, our shit... Our choices were either try and find Spivy if she's close, even though we know she's not, which would mean going back to the graveyard. Right. Because that's where we thought she was, or right. pushing on ahead. I, I really seriously think we need to push on ahead, because we're on serious time constraints here. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. All right. Front doors? Well, there's also top left doors. And then oh, okay. Right yeah, up. we can run by and, and kick open the stalls as we go by and just see if there's anything loose in here. Just make a real quick pass. Okay. I'll do a perception okay. check as we go by and then get on. And there's that top one, too. 22. And then, so we'll go there, down empty, this way. Empty uh, stalls, and the forge here is cold and quiet. Okay. And then we'll go in this door, right? That's what we're saying. I mean, I always feel like going in the front door is a bad idea, but 
Yep. Right. Uh, that's probably a good call. As I'm right. about to go in the door, you hear a sound saying, Privy, Doth, wait up! Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she came to us. She says, um, I may not be there when you call, but I am always right on time. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, well, thank you, baby. <laughs> How much strength damage do you have there, Smith? I have three strength damage. Well, why don't you roll a d4 and see? No way. I don't. Uh, why don't you roll another d4? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terrible. you're able to all your strength damage, and Spivy says, Alas, I have spent many years gathering these scrolls. You are quickly <laughs> burning through my supplies. However, I will do anything to protect followers of Desna. And we thank you, Spivy. <laughs> Arkin, your friends back in the other camp. The wagons, they are fine. I have seen to them and helped them out by casting days over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> My actions were critical to the combat. <laughs> How is Koya? She says, Koya, you mean the old cleric. She is fine. <clears throat> she took many hits. But with great magic between the two of us, she was capable of recovering quickly. She does, however, have a rather impressive facial scar. <laughs> How uh, about uh, Sandrew or Ameko? He says, I don't know who this Ameko is, but Sandrew is fine, I guess. The, the unconscious he one. <laughs> oh, the unconscious one. She How says, fair is she? Actually, she says, yeah, I guess Sandrew is okay. He seems like a real <laughs> follower of Tesna. <laughs> and I do not. Wow. He says, I didn't say that. Do you feel like you are? <laughs> I feel like it's being questioned at every turn. He says, well, if you feel that in your heart, perhaps it is true. That I am not, or that I am? I don't know. <laughs> well, <which laughs> this, is, this is some flying Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I am glad you are well, little one, and I am most grateful for your assistance. Thank you, you're very polite, unlike that other one, who, if he was a follower of Desna, would know to be polite to a cleric of Desna. I'm trying to... Uh, you, uh, might, you might be wondering how it is I'm always exactly where I'm needed. Thank Desna for that. As a matter of fact, I speak directly to Desna, because I have commune as an SLA. <laughs> that is a truly marvelous ability. He says, yes, I have learned a new word today. Hashtag suck it. <laughs> <laughs> I told Jessica all about it. She was so impressed. I'm learning so much about this world. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would like I to learn what's behind that door. Well, I before you go in, she burst heals you for 19 points of damage. Holy crap. How does she get 46? Because she uses two channels real quick. Oh, okay. All right. And then she says, most of my spells are expended. I will need to return to my lair for a time. Hopefully you are not injured too much, but if you need to, you can come find me at the Shrine of Desna. I, I got a lair. Your friend. Thank you lair. again, Thank Jivy. you. All right. Check the door. You check the door. It's the door. No crap. Some... Hey. Let's see here. Ease it open quietly. <laughs> ba, 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 da, ba. All right. The door is open. Uh, or I'm, I'm sorry. The door is unlocked. Do you want to open it? Yep. All right. A large number of ruined bunks have been heaped into a nest-shaped mound in the center of this room. As you open the door, now I'm going to reference this. I'm sure someone will actually be able to find it for me. But you know that that gif of the squirrel that kind of looks up and goes at people? Yes, dramatic squirrel. You guys open the door. And there's this gigantic lizard sitting on top of that pile that turns and goes. And then its skin gets down into its eyes. 
Like its skin is really loose and folds into its eyes. It still looks at you dramatically and then leaps from the top of the pile and begins charging you. Dramatic lizard pack. Uh, I'm gonna do something foolhardy. Oh, <laughs> Eridos, oh. remember what we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> With my luck, the thing probably has blind sense, and uh... I'm gonna say that that the bond is probably not gonna get resolved. <laughs> Eridos, if you wait until my turn, I can help you with some luck. Why did you turn into Spivy? Because he's about to go <laughs> flying past me behind the lizard. <laughs> right, Not Gary behind. Goes I'm going to delay until after Duraga. Oh, I see. Clever girl. Duraga. <laughs> I will take a five-foot step and cast Bit of Luck. You sure you don't want to say shoot -a. <laughs> shoot -a. I have no idea what's in that room because I can't see through the door, but I'm pretty sure it's bad based on a Gug and Smith's facial reactions. <laughs> Alright, Eridos. Bam. Wow, we go from 21 to 9. Yeah, I know. And then, let's see. Whispering Shrike. That is Sandra Vishke, not me. Uh, attacks. Whispering Shrike. Uh, put that zero there. Fourteen flat footed? No? Or wait, no, I got a bit of luck. Ha ha. Uh. Fourteen minutes. That's even worse, and I'll vanish. You're shedding everywhere, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the season just changed for real. You guys can't see it, but it, like the whole air is basically filled with nothing but cat hair right now. It's like watching so a friggin' Normandy airdrop. 14 flat footed doesn't do it. It does Damn not. It. I think. No, it does. All right, you're oh, right. shit. Or seven. And I'm vanished. Now it's going to have something ridiculous like blind sense. It goes. Oh, sent. That's almost as bad. <clears throat> it leaps off the pile towards you. Crap. Fourteen hit. Misses. So it lands on top of you. But you push him back off and it's just like Rah! It seems to be half blinded by the skin falling down on top of it. Myth. Well, I guess I'll just move in and attack. Am I walking in piles of bunks or anything like that? It's sitting on top of the bunks. Okay. Okay. Your sword will strike true. <clears throat> Done. Stab this fiendish lizard in the side. The gug. I, uh... I will pull a Dan. I'm going to provoke. Oh, you know what? I don't have the thing on. My bad, guys. Here we go. <clears throat> Pulling a Dan. That's what we're calling it now? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I got around one to named the other after side. me. I got one named after me. He can have one, too. Nice oh, to really? Um, oh, yeah. I'm sure that's... I'll look just to make you feel good. All right, but... make a Ford save. What's with the D100s? Uh, don't worry about it. He's only said, like, three times I can't see. Uh, it definitely grabs you. Oh. Come on, big fort save. You're not poisoned. So it bites into you, and in the process it begins, like, ejecting this green liquid right into your veins. Mm -hmm. But you, like, wrap your arm real quick and uh, manage to pull it out. What are you doing from there? I'm going to try to smack it. 
I love this idea of you like ripping part of your shirt, like wrapping your wound, and then you're like, rah! <laughs> uh, plus two for So flight? here's the thing. You're actually grappled. So oh, you can only so I have to use a... with a one-handed weapon. Okay. Um, then I will... Uh... I don't have any move actions left to pull anything out. Do I? Nope. Um, and breaking the grapple is a move or a standard? Standard, right? Standard. Well, I still got my standard left, so let's try a... a seven on the die. You're not, not going to happen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Arthur. Yeah. Macro didn't calculate right. It's supposed to be... Eight points of damage instead of seven. Okay, what's the problem? Uh, I forgot to put in a damage a uh, damage mod, so it wasn't adding any damage mod, but it's a okay. plus one sword. All right. A gug tries to take control of the grapple. You drop your sword in the process. Yep. But this thing continues to climb over you, and so it's like latching its arms and legs around you, curling into a ball and like trying to rip your face off and. With its face. Viraga. I will send Babu in. <clears throat> Babu just trots in slowly, like, la 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 la. <laughs> Walks up, uh, immediately hits this thing for five points of damage. Um, way to go, Babu. And then I will pew pew it with my long sword. How, you mean your long bow? Long bow, yeah, my bad. Right. So, in the process, you hit a gug and it just bounces off his armor. Oh, womp womp. Eridos. Uh, another day, another s flat footed attack. This time with flank. Oh. Okay. You stab this thing through the face and it just quietly goes. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Uh, okay, that was not fun. That. <laughs> That went a little bit smoother than I expected. Okay. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, really. The door to the east opens. You see two lizard folk type creatures advancing towards you. Their nauseating smell just emanates from their bodies. It's practically visible. And they begin going, Ook tak, naka naka. Chet chet one in Oelia. Crap. Wow. Again. Trogs. They're looking at the the dead um, lizard that you just killed, and they seem pretty upset. Just a little bit upset. All right, I need everybody to make a fortitude save. Because they stink so bad. Yes. That made a gaming. <laughs> nope. Just nope. Do I still have a bit of luck on me? Nope. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, I'm looking at a fail. Here it is, failed. Yeah, so it's Eridos and a Gagabull sickened. That's rough. What's second? Yeah. Minus, minus minus two, two on. Yeah, minus two on attacks. Hey, there it is. They're not flat-footed because they spent the turn opening the door and calling for allies. Minus two.